Today I'm going to walk you through priming the fuel system on a 2014 Audi Q5 TDI using VAGCOM. This probably applies to way more vehicles, but I'm doing this on a 2014 Q5, so if you have other vehicles that may apply, attempt this at your own risk. This process is needed after you replace the fuel filter on these cars so that you don't try to start the vehicle with no fuel. If you do go through replacing filters and don't prime it afterwards, it'll crank for a longer amount of time and potentially lead to damaging components of the fuel system. I'm sure many people don't go through this process and don't see issues, but for those that are wanting to do this and minimize any extra component wear, this video is for you. So to start out, plug your VAGCOM cable into the OBD2 port as you normally would and turn the car's ignition on. Do not actually start the car. You just want everything to have power and not actually be running. Then you can open the VCDS application on your computer. For reference, this is software release 24.5, which is the most current at the time of recording this. And I'm doing this on a laptop running Windows 11. Just putting that out there for those that may run this on a Mac or older Windows versions, just in case it may look a little bit different. Also, I'm using an older hex can cable as I've had this since about 2015, so it's not the latest and greatest cable by any means, but still functions the same. As always, when you start at VAGCOM, go to options and click the test button to make sure that your cable is connected properly and communicating. And then when that's successful, go to the main screen and click the select button under the select control module section. Once the next screen pops up, click on 01 engine. This will open the engine control module. Once that control module loads, click on 03 output tests. And then in the drop down menu at the top of the screen, find the test that says fuel pump electronics. I'm sure the ID number is different depending on the vehicle that you're doing this on, but if you find similar verbiage, you should be fine. After selecting that, then all you need to do is click start and VCDS will take care of the rest. While the output test is running, you will hear the fuel pump turn on and off behind you several times. I tried to capture the sound, but it's very quiet for a GoPro mic to pick up, unfortunately, so it didn't come out the best. Once the test is complete, it will automatically stop running. From here, you can keep clicking done go back until you get back to the main screen and then close the program. Then you should be ready to start the car. So then you can push the key in and start the vehicle and you are all ready to go down the road until the next time that you have to do a fuel filter change. Hope this video helps everyone watching and if there's any other VAGCOM questions, leave a comment below. And if I'm able to do the task you're asking for, I'll make a video of it. VAGCOM is a very powerful tool for owners to have, but there's also ways to do some very bad things with it if you're not careful. So I'm always happy to walk through things like this. That's going to wrap up this video. So if you like what you see, click that subscribe button below and I will see everybody next time.